guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we are going to our hometown fair. It's so exciting. I've never missed a fair. For those of you guys that don't know, we live, we grew up. We grew up in the Poconos and then we ended up moving out of the Poconos, um, Pennsylvania. And in the Poconos, they have this one really popular fair that we go to pretty much almost every year. We just find a day, it's like a week long fair and it kind of kicks off back to school season for our hometown. And I love it because literally it ends on Friday or Saturday and then Sunday is your like one rest day. And then Monday we always started school. We're not really celebrating back to school, but we're still gonna go to the fair because who doesn't love some funnel cake? So I'm pretty much just gonna take you guys along with us. I think that this is gonna be a really cute core memory vlog. I'm just gonna be prepping so that we can get ready to go. I just finished dressing both kids. Probably gonna wait to do Esme's hair later as he's playing right now and I'm just gonna get some things set up. We're probably gonna head out around three o'clock, honestly, because the fair doesn't open until two and I don't like getting there too, too early, but I also don't like getting there too late, but I do wanna stay a little bit later on tonight. So I will definitely be letting you guys know. First and foremost, we're going to be prepping my diaper bag, honestly. When I say prep, I mean like actually prep. Pretty much we have, um, today's supposed to be a nice day out um, and around the time that we're going to the fair, it's gonna be really hot and sunny. So I know we have sunscreen, we always carry sunscreen um, in the summertime, so we have the kids' sunscreen in here. Um, and then just some diaper medicine, things like that. I pretty much make sure that we have everything medicine-wise too. I always make sure that Esme's EpiPen is in there. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Esme was just recently diagnosed with an egg allergy. Um, so we just have to monitor when she eats things that have egg ingredients or, and she definitely cannot have eggs by itself. So we just carry an EpiPen and some Tylenol, Motrin, just in case. Oh, and Benadryl, sorry, Tylenol and Benadryl in case of any outbreaks. And then I always take snacks, but this time I'm not gonna take snacks because we're going to be eating a lot of food at the fair. Currently have both kids in short sleeve. I will also be packing, um, especially when it starts getting chillier out, I brought some jeans for Esme and a little sweater. And then for Bruno, he's gonna wear, um, he's currently in a romper right now, but if he does need to change, then we have a t-shirt, some pants, and a little jacket to go with him as well. I found it, this bag is honestly such a lifesaver it's pretty much just in case like they spill something on themselves or they spit up or you know accidents happen um but this little travel bag i always make sure that we have it in the diaper bag in case it happens because then we just take the dirty clothes put it in here for that so that we can wash it for later give me love give me all your love oh cause i want you You guys, it's so sad because my kids, they always look so cute in their little outfits. Look at Ezzy. And then I always just don't know what to wear. Like, I'm literally trying to talk to Josh to see what Josh is wearing so I can figure it out. But Bruno's in like a little flannel romper. And Josh is up, you guys. What up, guys? How are you guys doing today? Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> oh my God, we're so in love. 
Is she gonna buy that? <laughs> I hope so. Uh -huh. Whole family is up and starting to get ready. Josh and I are just trying to figure out what we're gonna wear. I was literally just saying how the kids always have such bomb outfits and then like, we're just like throwing ourselves together, so. Yeah, but everything's packed up and we should be getting out of here. It's currently going, it's literally two o'clock. It's literally two o'clock right now. So we'll probably be heading out the door by like 2.40, I wanna say. All right, you guys, we just finished putting the kids in the Stroller, this is what our stroller is currently looking like. Let me see if I can focus, there we go. We got Bruno Man in the bassinet, Esme in the back. Esme's probably gonna be walking around for the majority of the time, but I think it's better to just bring her little attachment. Anyways, you guys, before we leave, here's our little OOTDs. You got black on black for me, some white Air Forces, and a nice jean jacket, cause it does get a little chilly on the fairgrounds. Kids are in their warm clothes right now. Before we head out, let's talk about what we're most excited for to try at the fair. I'm excited for the street corn. And, really? Um, Josh is more excited for the street corn. I'm more excited for the blooming onion. It's like an onion that's like deep fried. And the lemonade, the lemonade. You can't forget the deep fried Oreos because you gotta have a little sweet tooth. Oh my God. With all this salt and low key, and Well, I had, I had a cheesesteak from there last time and it was actually kind of good like i thought that it was going to taste like really really bad but no it was really really good all right you guys we just ended up almost we're literally five minutes down the road from here but as we were driving the temperature was dropping and we're probably going to change the kids by the time that we get to the fair because it's just it's a little too chilly for my liking and both of them are in shorts and short sleeves so better to just do it now before we like get in there and then it's like too chaotic all right first one on the list blooming onion I swear that I will stay here with you. Hold me closer. We also got I lemonade. Josh doesn't really like it, but Josh you. likes like sour, sour lemonade. I can't do too much sour. Like sweet Looks like we haven't been anywhere, but we have. We literally just finished eating. Well, Josh got a pulled pork sandwich, and then I got. Oh, a beef sandwich. Pulled beef sandwich, sorry. And then I got a uh, street corn, and Josh got street corn too. And we got into some mac and cheese that was garbage. Next thing's probably gonna be dessert. D dessert? Very demure. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty dead today which I, it's a good thing though that it's dead because we literally were talking about like how busy it sometimes gets so yeah um oh we're trying to see if there's like a derby tonight but i don't think that there is it's pretty dead for a thursday normally thursday's popping but maybe because it's like cloudy but right it's still happening it's been pretty, the weather hasn't been good well no it hasn't been good but... yeah it's just cloudy it's probably gonna finish it out Probably head home. Mm -hmm. Well, also we're by like the market side, like where people are like trying to sell you things. So maybe that's why. Once we start going over the rides, I want to win like a stuffed animal. So. All the games for kids. So then I'll do it. The bird just woke up in his room there. He's so ghetto. Thank you. 